Reading from the comments on your Twitter posts, it seems that the games you have played with the crypto markets have destroyed lives. Millions of retail investors were really counting on their crypto gains to improve their lives, and everyone knows to be prepared for volatility in crypto, but your tweets this week show a clear disregard for the average working person. As hardworking people have their dreams liquidated over your public temper tantrums, you continue to mock them with memes from one of your million dollar mansions. We are anonymous. Someone's in trouble. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel, as always, is to empower you, the people of this community with the resources and knowledge to get you up to that next level. So make sure to smash the like button so we can continue to spread this video and channel throughout all the interwebs. And if you guys are new here, if it's your first time, or if you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now let's jump right in. So this weekend, a video surfaced supposedly from Anonymous. Now we don't know how real that is, but in the video, they are targeting Elon Musk and basically, you know, telling him that he's gone too far at this point, right? For those who don't know, who or what Anonymous is, they are a notorious group of hackers who are responsible for some of the biggest digital breaches and leaks in modern history. They're basically a coalition of self-described freedom fighters who use the V for Vendetta Guy Fox mask as their logo. They've gone after some big companies like uh, PayPal and even Scientology. So I will keep you guys updated as this, you know, develops. Um, I haven't seen or heard Elon Musk reply or give any type of uh, tweet since then. So it's a story that's still developing right now. We will see what happens throughout the week if anything develops. In other news today, the president of El Salvador just confirmed that citizens won't pay capital gains tax on Bitcoin because it's a legal currency. Oh, let me just put this on so even with this bullish news and remember we also had the bitcoin conference event last week and there was a lot of bullish momentum there there was a lot of uh bullish sentiment and a lot of bullish things that came out of it and the market has just not seemed to care here it's like they're just waiting on Elon's next tweet here. So really, we have not moved at all. If you look here on the chart, we're still within this uh, symmetrical triangle. But guys, there's there's no movement. We've just kind of been stuck here. We're, we're stuck on the bottom of this support. We're stuck on this support as well. So remember, 34, that 34 to $35,000 range is a support as well. And we're just stuck here right now. The the volume's been low, you know. Of course, it's a weekend, but as you can see, since since this happened here, if you just kind of look at the trend of the volume, it's been going down lower, lower, lower. It's the Bitcoin has been trading within this range, and the range has gotten tighter and tighter as we've got closer to the apex here of the symmetrical triangle. So right now we're right on the brink of possibly breaking down and breaking below. Remember, if we break below here this week, which we should have the answer within the next few days, really, you know, if, if we if we look all the way to the apex of this, it kind of ends around June 12th, June 13th. So that would be basically this weekend. And of course, it could happen anytime before then as well. That's just where the apex of this would be. But this could happen at any time. We could either break down or break out. So right now, it's looking like it's getting pushed down back to that $35,000 range. We do have that support here at still. As you guys can see, we've gotten a lot of buying here. But if we were to break down, there might be enough momentum to possibly break through this support and continue down to that $30,000 level again. Um, that's that next support. If we break through here, we're possibly going down to 30,000. If 30,000 to 28,000 cannot hold, then we're possibly going down 
to anywhere between $22,000 to $18,000 like we spoke before. That, that would basically be the range there, $22,000 to $18,000. So that's the bearish case scenario here, right? We, we, have to, we have to start with what the chart is showing us right now. Now, of course, remember, this is Bitcoin, this is crypto. At any time, it could just switch everything, right? And it could just go in the opposite direction and doesn't really care what people or what charts say at the end of the day. You know, we're just making our best prediction and our best, you know, trying to read the chart as best as possible and going based off of history and uh, patterns and what price action is kind of saying right now. In the bullish scenario here, we will need this, of course, to push back up and break through here. Now, even if we do break out of here, that still does not mean that we're going back up. We have to break through $42,000, guys. That's just the main point here is if we do not break through 42,000, we're leaving that back door open to continue testing 30,000 and possibly uh, levels even lower than that. We need to get above 42,000. There's no way around it right now. Even if we were to break to the upside, we could still get stuck at 40,000 like we did here. Or if we break through there, we could still get stuck at 42 and head back down. So until we break 42, I'm not taking any long trades at the moment. If we break 42, I'm definitely taking long trades below that. I'm just sitting, waiting. I'm only adding dollar cost averaging to my long-term positions. So yeah, that's pretty much it on Bitcoin really. And, and the majority of the market at that, because remember guys, that the market's going to follow Bitcoin at the end of the day. If we take a quick peek here at ethereum you'll see ethereum looks a lot more bullish it's been way more bullish here but the issue is that still bitcoin is holding it back so ethereum cannot it cannot go unless bitcoin also goes so uh the pattern here this is called a flat top so it's an ascending support triangle going up and then there's a flat resistance line where it's continued to get uh, declined you can see it got rejected rejected and rejected so that's kind of where this is that's why here i'm not looking to take any trades until we're above 3000 and to get above 3000 i think that bitcoin probably needs to get above uh, 40 and 42 thousand dollars so that's pretty much it guys there's not much more to it right now uh we're just going to continue to watch the charts develop and see where we go from here and, and give you guys updates. Uh, make sure you guys are following us on both Instagram and Twitter. We're giving updates on there as things happen and as you know more develops here with the charts and with these uh, news stories as well. Before we leave you guys with the rest of the uh, anonymous video for Elon Musk, we wanna make sure to tell you guys, remind you guys to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's all smash that like button together here on the count of three, guys. One, two, three, boom. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm out of here. I'm done. Finito. Check out the rest of the anonymous video to Elon Musk. Greetings, citizens of the world. This is a message from Anonymous, for Elon Musk. For the past several years you have enjoyed one of the most favorable reputations of anyone in the billionaire class, because you have tapped into the desire that many of us have to live in a world with electric cars and space exploration, but recently your carefully created public image is being exposed, and people are beginning to see you as nothing more than another narcissistic rich dude who is desperate for attention. It appears that your quest to save the world is more rooted in a superiority and savior complex than it is in actual concern for humanity. This has been obvious to your employees for a long time, who have faced intolerable conditions under your command for years. It is also obvious to the young children working in your overseas lithium mines, which are destroying the local environment as well. You have been open about your willingness to stage coups in order to install dictators in places where your toxic products are being mined. You have even prematurely crowned yourself Emperor of Mars, a place where you will be sending people to die. Your fanboys overlook these issues because they are focused on the potential good that your projects can bring to the world, but you are not the only show in town, and your competition is growing more intense with each passing day. There are plenty of other companies working on space exploration and electric vehicles, you are just the only CEO who has gained a cult following through shitposting and trolling the world on social media. In fact, 
Many people are now learning that the vast majority of Tesla's income doesn't actually come from selling cars, it comes from government subsidies, selling carbon tax credits for your innovation with clean energy. This technically isn't your innovation though, because you aren't actually the founder of Tesla, you simply purchased the company from two people much more intelligent than you are, Martin Everhard and Mark Tarpenning. Tesla has also made more money holding Bitcoin for a few months than they did in years of selling cars. It is also more than likely that this Bitcoin was purchased with money from these government subsidies. It is now widely believed that you have been forced to denounce your company's involvement with Bitcoin in order to keep that green government money flowing into Tesla's coffers. The energy use argument about proof-of-work mining is a very nuanced conversation that requires a fairly complex understanding of how power grids work, and how excess energy is wasted by power companies, and sought out by crypto miners. This is a conversation that you have been having for over a year and were intimately aware of, but as soon as your main source of income was threatened you pretended to be clueless in an attempt to play both sides of the fence. Then, your move to create a Bitcoin miner council was rightly seen as an attempt to centralize the industry and take it under your control. Reading from the comments on your Twitter posts, it seems that the games you have played with the crypto markets have destroyed lives. Millions of retail investors were really counting on their crypto gains to improve their lives. This is something that you will never understand because you were born into the stolen wealth of a South African apartheid emerald mine and have no clue what struggle is like for most of the working people in the world. Of course, they took the risk upon themselves when they invested, and everyone knows to be prepared for volatility in crypto, but your tweets this week show a clear disregard for the average working person. As hardworking people have their dreams liquidated over your public temper tantrums, you continue to mock them with memes from one of your million dollar mansions. You may think you are the smartest person in the room, but now you have met your match. We are anonymous. We are legion. Expect us.